just got home. I've got my marigolds, some zinnias, and some things I'm not sure how to pronounce. I think that's the salvia. They're so pretty. They're for the bees. I just planted the two. I think it's marigold and cosmos. I'm not sure. I, I think that's the marigold. And I think those are cosmos. And then these are the Dalthanus. I don't know the name, but I put some of this biotone in here. And then look at when I take this out. It was pretty easy. Let's see if this one's pretty easy. Squeezing it. Look at those roots. So they really needed to go in because they're getting root bound. See that? So I'm gonna pop it right in here. So I got the fertilizer mixed in with the soil. Get it popped in. Does that look centered? Does that look pretty centered? Yeah. And then I'm gonna cover it with this. Just like that. Do you pack it a little bit or yeah. you just do it lightly? I do, and then I'm gonna put these wood chips around okay. it Good. to keep the moisture. Yep. And then we've got a few more to go right here. Cool. How does it look? Oh, it looks wonderful. Good job. All right, I'm gonna plant the next one right here. We can get in close. It looks like <gasps> nice soil. A worm man. or something. Is that look a snake? It. Oh my gosh, what is that? It's thing? like a baby snake or something. Ooh, it's a. Oh, that is creepy. No, that's not a snake. It's, it's got like things in the front. That's good though. It's gonna help. Um, you sure? Yeah, because it. Oh. Wow, that thing went. Oh, there's more stuff in here. Ooh, there's two. Right here. Huh? Looks like a centipede, maybe. It's got all them legs. Hopefully those are okay. You found three in one little section. That means there's a lot in there. Get off my little thing. Boy, they can, they're quick. Yeah. Well, at least these aren't the food. These are just flowers. Mm. But I think they help aerate the soil. Mm. You know what I mean? They're mm. gonna help the soil aerate. Yeah. We've got some of the flowers planted now. They look good. Time to transplant these little strawberries into my grow bags. So I took this one out. And look at those roots. They look beautiful. And I'm gonna start potting them into the grow bags. Time to go in your little new home. Plop. One more, one more, one more, one more. Pull this up five and one grow back. Nice and healthy root systems. I can't believe I started these from little tiny seeds. Look at how big they've gotten. All right, I think this radish is ready to be harvested. Let's That's see, first our first radish. Look at how cute it is. Looks perfect. We're gonna eat this for dinner tonight. Whoa. That's cool. This radish here is the first fruits of all her labor. <laughs> I'm gonna take my first bite. Ready? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Is your nose gonna, um, mm. is it going right up your nose? Mmm, it's spicy. It's good. It tastes delicious. Mmm. Can I have a little bit more? Mm-hmm. That's really good. Yeah. Can I have some of this? Yeah, eat one of the leaves. Wow, good job. Give me a leaf. Now we just gotta keep getting these bigger. That's a little bit more bitter. Mmm, mmm. Oh, it's really good. Ooh, eat it. Have some more. I'm gonna eat the rest. Yeah, you can eat the rest. Mm, that's delicious. Oh, that is delicious. Cause the stem, oh my gosh. Fantastic, man. huh? Good oh, job, yeah. babe. That was so good. Since we have all this rot here, I 
I thought I would just cut this at an angle and then put a new piece in. So I just put oh, a, really? I oh. cut this with a jigsaw. And you're gonna attach another piece? I'm gonna see if I can tear this out. And then you'll attach another piece with it? Yeah. So I'll you don't have to do the piece. whole Hopefully it'll How will it go? It doesn't don't you have to do a whole piece? Um no, I'm gonna just do a little piece. Like there. a patch. Yeah. Because there's nothing like it's not supporting anything, you know, it's just a piece of wood. Right. I'm trying to separate this. So I shouldn't have even started recording. Ready? Yep. Careful your eyes. I know. So, save where that. I cut it, it's all solid, so that's good. Yeah. I'm going to save that. Save that for the museum. It. I'll trace that piece and cut a new one. And all these, I can cut those off, those nails. Okay. I just stuck my hand in my raspberry bush. That was a very close call. A little friend there that decided to also play in the raspberry bushes. So this piece right here should be one piece going from here to here, broke here, right? And this one comes through here, and it's sticking down too far. So I need to figure out how to make this one go straight across. So what I did was I cut it here, above here, so that I could get over a little bit above the stud, since it's all rotted in there. So I want to take care of this, and then I'll fill this in afterward. So right now, I just cut this through here. It looks like I need to go up more though. It's almost through. And then I gotta take my time and just get this piece out. And this piece out. And then I'm gonna cut a board and put it in right here. Same size as this, but it's gonna go all the way across. So, and I gotta do that on the other side too. And then I'm gonna be putting dowels in here. So this is all rotted, so I made a big hole one inch thick, and then I got a dowel. And you put that in. But I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna fill it full of Bondo first, and then I'm gonna go and drill the hole and put this in afterward, is what I'm thinking. I don't know the proper way, but that's how I think I'll do it today. So this is what I came up with for the raptor tail. I screwed another stud on the other side there, and I put, I wrapped it with uh, wax paper, and then I drilled some holes and put some wooden dowels in there, glued them in, I got another 2x4 I'm going to screw in on this side and then the little piece is going to go in the, the flat end and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it with Bondo and then later I'll take it off the studs that go on the outside I'm going to take those all off and then hopefully it'll look pretty good. Now wax paper is supposed to keep the Bondo from sticking to the other pieces of wood so hopefully that works well. I mixed up the Bondo here. I'm going to fill this the best I can. There's probably going to be air pockets and uh, I'm going to put a board over this. And then what I'll do later is I'll go and I'll take it off and fill it in again and once it settles I'll probably need more. So. Ew. Yeah, it's a little soupy but. It's like Play-Doh. Wow, well, so you got those rods in there? Yep, that's uh, dowels. Those are wood. So it's kind of holding yeah. it together. Yep. It'll be like an illusion. There you go. Fantastic. Soupy.
Thanks, huh? I didn't notice. Oh, you didn't? Pushing that in there. Okay, I got. I have these three all in there. It uh, should be hardening underneath. So. Okay, cool. I'm gonna take it off, and I'm gonna. And if I'm gonna guess, it's, it's gonna be settled. There's gonna be some. It's gonna be like two or three part. Two or three parts to finish this. Okay. So let's see. All right. So you let it dry for a little bit. Yeah. Oh, be careful. <laughs> it's on there pretty good, so I'm just going to keep going. Ooh. You can see that. That's a Bondo? Yeah. Oops. Okay, that one came off easy. Oh, wow. You can see the needs to be filled a lot more in that one. I can't see that other side. Well, we'll come back to it. Okay. I need a hammer. All right. Hey, I just knocked it off. So, so you That's can see. Cool. I mean, the before and after is pretty, pretty awesome. Let me go over here. So what I got to do is grind it down, flush, and then uh, we'll keep filling it, and then we'll sand it all good. Much better. I have Bondo here. This white uh, little thing is um, oh, fast, it hardens it quicker. So I'm gonna mix this up. But what I did here, I filled this big old gap in. Okay. And I sanded or grinded it down. And then I went and patched it one more time. Now I'm gonna fill this one in and this one here. And wow. we're getting somewhere now, finally. It's okay if you put a little bit more than you need on. Looks nice. It looks it really later. great. Yeah. Oh, what a difference. Mm -hmm. A lot of work that doesn't look like a lot of work. Yeah, you don't really get. You yeah. Know, realize it. It just looks like wow, well, it's supposed to looks look like, like that. Looks like yep. But you did all this work to make it look like that. Right. It's an illusion. Exactly. I wonder if those are ladybug eggs on here. Look at their eggs right on the shape cloth. Right here in the garden. There it is, just flapping. We'll keep an eye on those. So I've got a bit of a mushroom farm starting to grow in my garden. Interesting. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I hear mushroom compost is good. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. Crazy. Wow, I wonder if it's because of the rain we're having. <laughs> They've just got like the perfect conditions. Hey there, we'd love for you to check out our newly designed website at journeydowntheroad.com. You can easily search for whatever category or topic you're interested in and read more about our little pine cottage. Get the inside scoop about our story and how we've lived simply in small spaces and how you can too. See how we've also built a handmade home with reclaimed and salvaged materials. Thanks for joining us on this journey.